yeah, that, yeah. That yeah. apex shit, because why are they evil? Because they are the people in conjunction with those uh, uh, those radical evangelicals that are in power in this country. Damn. That's why APAC... I didn't know this. That's why, look... It, Hold it, on, explain. So, so, so I, I didn't know APAC was a Christian... They're not a Christian organization. They're not a Christian but organization. They, they just donate to all the radical fucking... They donate to everybody. But they have a very, very good relationship with the most radical of the, the Republicans. Yeah. They take that APAC money... And, and Joe Biden, of course. Yeah, Joe Biden... But see, there's an ideological side of why they 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 uh, fuck with APAC and, and why they're so pro-Israel. It's because oh, man. it's because first of all, of uh, the, the 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 belief that one day the Christians in this country are going to inherit Israel from God. Okay, and they're going to let some of the Isra Israelis live. They're going to they're let. A hundred thousand in the Bible, a hundred thousand of them are going to be able to live. If all of this is true, you know we're fucked, right? No, we're all fucked. We're all fucked. Yeah. If this is true, we're just yeah. You know, we've been we're, talking so much yeah. shit. Yeah. Just skeletons that, that that don't know that we're dead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, no, it, it, it's kind of crazy when you really like. There's there's a couple of documentaries out there about like the religious right in this country. Well, religious. Bill Maher ends his documentary right at uh, in Jerusalem. No, but that that go where, deep into this, into where, this. Where he's like, this is where it's supposed to go down. Everyone's fighting over about. this. And that's what they're talking about. Yeah. They're, they're talking yeah. about the Jews being slaughtered and the Christians inheriting Israel. That's what it's about to them. So they're being fake nice to Israel. Fuck yeah, they're being fake nice. <laughs> Yo, that's so Christian. Yeah. Yo, that's the most Christian thing yeah. ever. Fake nice. I love it. I love it. It goes full circle. It's like, yo, we can be fake nice to people all day because we're going to be fake nice to the people to whose land we want. Hell yeah. Oh, I oh, yeah. love it. Hell I love yeah. it. I love it, bro. That's I 100%. This hypocrisy goes full circle. <laughs> so I, 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 I'm guessing that you're not very familiar with the Bible. Yo, I've read the Bible. Yeah, but, but you're not like familiar that. with like this whole thing that's supposed to happen with the Jews. Yeah, yeah, the rat St. Peter calls your name though. No, 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 no. This this is this is way before that. This really? is this is there, mm. this is in the book of Revelation. This is uh so what's supposed to happen is, give me a second. I gotta write this message. So go, go ahead and say something. Let me, let me just write this message. Oh no, no! I want to hear this, yo. I love religious talk, bro. For I just gotta send this. One of my favorite. Songs. I gotta send this, this, this. Uh... Oh, I already sent it. Okay, I'm super, I'm super good for me. All right. So in the Book of Revelations, uh, there is a part where the Antichrist uh, provokes the 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 mosque. In, in in Jerusalem to be to be knocked down. I think I might have zoned okay. out the most radical parts. <laughs> but and, I'm just like this is beyond me. Okay, and the Christians are supposed to take it over. All right, the the mosque that's there, it's like it's like surrounded by by Catholic bullshit. Okay, so. Uh, once that shit, yeah, of course, bro. So of course, that's that's, of course. That, that's supposed to be um, a pivotal point in, in in this whole revelations thing. Yeah, because at that point, God is gonna is gonna <laughs> sound the trumpets of Armageddon. All right, and, yeah, the fact that God is gonna play an instrument. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> every country is gonna go against Israel. That's some some guy playing a trumpet. No, that's God. <laughs> yeah. So the United the, the the American the American fundamentalist uh, interpretation of that is that the United States is going to be there to defend Israel. That's the American interpretation. Yes, that's the American fundamentalist interpretation of uh, of. Uh, it's very American centric. That America it's very American centric. That America is going to defend Israel, Israel against. God against God. No, 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 no. Against against the Muslims, which are, are the devil. God is doing this so, so this, that. The, so this so that, is why we murder Muslims. Yes, 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 yes. This is why the United States murders. Yo, Muslims. Yes. it's crazy, but Yo. it's all it's all in the. the I always thought it was like political. I'm just like. 
It's religious. It's religious. Oh, man. I, yo, I've hated religion, like, on a scale of 1 to 10 of how much I rel hate religion, like, I'm at a 1,000, but now I'm, like, at, a, like, a 10 million, you know, for real, like. It, it's crazy. So check this out. So, so, here's oh. what's, so, so here's what's supposed to happen. The Americans come and they defend Israel. It. And then only against like, God, no, no, against the, the Muslims, against, against the, Muslims, the Muslims, which is the devil. God is on our on, on the. Well, American thank God side. we have drones. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, then what's going to happen is that the, that the since since the they've knocked down the 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 what you would call it the the mosque. Yeah. The Antichrist is going to come and he's going to. Uh, well, in this case, I guess the Antichrist would be the Muslims. So in this, so yeah, so 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 God, Christ is going to come and build the the third uh, temple of of Solomon. Okay, and when he builds the third temple of Solomon, God is going to come down. He's going to live in the temple of Solomon with Jesus. He's going to save a hundred thousand Jews. Hundred thousand only. That's what the Bible says. The but actual why, Bible says only a hundred thousand. Yeah. Cause why? It's like, why? It's like a hundred and nine thousand, something like that. It's a very specific number in the Bible. Very, very specific. <laughs> all right. All but right. only those Jews are gonna are, remember. The people writing this shit are hella anti-Semitic Christians at this point. Yes. Yes. In yes. history, when they write this, this okay? this is beyond anti. Well, they're also anti-Islamic. Well. It, Semitic people in but, general. Well, the thing is that mu the the Muslim faith didn't exist when these when, when the Bible was written. The, no. the the Muslim faith comes about like like oh, early in the nineteen hundred yeah the nineteenth yeah, yeah. in the nineteenth century. But we're but, just assuming that just Semitic people are just brothers. Well, the thing is that the thing is that they they view in the, the there's there's a view of in in the in the in the, in the, the, the book of Revelation is in the is in the New Testament. In the New Testament, there is an ingrained anti-semitic uh narrative mm. okay because the jews killed christ even no the jews paid the romans to kill christ right, right, right. but but that's the so romans ended up worshiping christ right but in, in the bible the, the way it's sold is yeah the, the jews killed christ. christ that's why we are not jews we're christians now yeah okay you know if not we would just be jews Right, you know what I'm saying. Right, yeah. <laughs> so, and and it's a story that's ingrained in the in the second in the in the New Testament because it was written from a point of view of power. Because by the time that the that the second part that the whole Bible gets put together, it's it's the Council of Nicaea, and the Romans are in power, and they're the yeah. first, you know, what I'm saying like powerful Christians. So it's a it's a it's a book that's very that's very much put together with anti-Semitism, with bigotry, but at the same time. Yeah. With uh, like you know certain messages which are used to manipulate the people, and that's the whole point of the Bible. But absolutely, yeah, more than anything, right? it's, yeah, it's, it's control. People. It's control to control. So, uh, yeah, you know, I mean, the whole thing with Armageddon and everything like that is just that it's a very. And where do we fall into this equation? We were fucked. We're fucked. We're fucked. We're dead. But the American... this discussion alone, you're gonna be like. Oh, remember, remember Viano and the yeah. Dano? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's that's stream alone. Yeah, no. Damn you to hell. Yeah. Everything else you did is just cherry on top. Yeah, right? <laughs> that stream alone. No, but uh, but yeah, the uh, the the American evang uh, 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 evangelicals drive this whole um, like right wing craziness that happens in Israel. It's the the that whole thing is permitted because the politics of it is completely uh uh pointed against the, the the muslims which are which are which are dark skin. you know what i'm saying so it's it's a it's a white it supremacist nice. it, 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 it's a white supremacist book yeah it, even it, though jesus was probably brown if he brown ever existed i don't believe in the historicity of you, jesus i mean I, I was about to get to that. you think you you don't think jesus was real i don't think he was real. No, you know why because so. the romans documented Everything. Who they sat all their cruci you don't think they documented the most important crucifixion of mankind? Come well on. let's get let's I get mean, real here. I'm pretty sure that it wasn't announced as the, the most if it ever happened, it wasn't announced as the most important. It was just announced we're, we're, we're murdering another motherfucker. We're, we're murdering the socialist. Okay, so here's yeah. the, so, so here's the thing about the same time frame that, that that the whole Jesus thing takes place. 
there was a lot of people that were calling themselves messiahs that had groups that were like like pulling away from the the Jewish faith uh, because their belief was different. I heard you know what I'm saying? It was yo, pure, I, I was heard that too. People. I also heard that schizophrenia one of the one of the symptoms of schizophrenia is believing you're God. Right. Well, yeah, of course, or that God talks to you personally. Yeah. Um, but uh, what the, what is documented by the by the Romans is them uh, crucifying plenty of people who were said to be a messiah, who were said to be leaders of a of of a, mili a militia. Jesus you know what I'm is the most popular one. Well. I think that Jesus is like an amalgamation of, all of, of, them of different who people. thinks the same shit. That yeah, that we're in in the, in the, the thing is that it's it, the the preaching the same shit is just like but preaching no, that the that the that the church at the moment. But Passion of the Christ said based on a true story. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> hey, it's Papa. What's his name? No, Gibson. It's Papa Gibson. Fuck is putting it out, so he probably knows. So yeah. You know, I, I I I don't believe in the historicity of Jesus, but I do believe that, like in that time, people were really falling head over heels for stories of yeah. a Messiah. Yeah. Because it wasn't the Torah. In, in the in, but it's in, in the, the Torah. In the in the in, in Judaism, they don't believe the Messiah has come yet. No, no, because the the, the Messiah has to come out of a prominent family. In the, yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah. has to come out of the living. Is that why they're always like, "Well, I think he's a good match for you." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, the, the 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 Messiah for the Jews has to come out of the oh, David. Man. This is coming David's full, lineage. All of this shit is coming full yeah. circle. Yeah. Well, I wonder if you'll you'll have wonderful children. I think you two would be a wonderful match. Have you seen his portfolio? <laughs> <laughs> No, I, the thing is that all all religion is corrupt. All religion is for the same purpose to control people. I don't believe that the Jews have. Ha, I don't believe that the Jews have any more answers than the Catholics. Yeah, that's that's one thing I've never understood. Like just 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 adult people that like are smart, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like there are people that are, believe it or not. There are yo, scientists that are Christians. Christian. That's what I'm saying. I don't understand. Yo, there are people that are are really like. There are people with incredibly high IQs, yeah. but there are people that do surgery, like Ben Carson. Yeah. Bro, there are people that do like that, like and trade on Wall Street and make tons of money. They have like algorithms and shit, and yeah. they're fucking and crazy engineers and shit. But they have this faction of their brain that just can't like reason, like. But I think that, everybody that has that though. I think to those smart people it pertains to religion, but in those in their case, but to people like you and like me, we have those blind spots too. It's something that's human nature. But not that bad. <laughs> like, not that bad, though. People, Nothing that bad. People who, who who should know better and still believe in God annoy the shit out of me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. God is like... God is like... God. No, you know, uh, I'm, not, I'm not much for, like, talking shit about religion uh, or no religious individuals, but as a whole, like, religion is just... It's just the worst. It's damaging it's, to the society. Yeah, you need to grow. Like, it's hindering us. It, it yeah. does, man. And look at our country. It's going to go back to the fucking but, taking rights away but, from us because but, they believe it, it's good with but, God. But you know what's crazy? It, 200 years ago. Wait, 200? My bad. 250 years ago. Oh, I'm not doing that. Very good. Okay. But, yo, the founding fathers understood this it was you know separation of church and state they believed in it one thing that was also fact is yes ben franklin was a quaker there was christians in the uh, some of our founding fathers were christian but some of them were atheists thomas jefferson john adams they were atheists but you know why they're doing they did it like that right why it wasn't it wasn't, it, wasn't a, it wasn't a moral imperative. They, I felt like they knew that there was going to be people that had different beliefs, like they had pre, like they had previously experienced in England, and it was hindering back then. So they said that if we have this separation, this is the only way this new, you know, country can grow. I don't think. I don't think that's. I don't think they took in, in count. I don't think they took anybody who was different into consideration explicitly, because well, what I think that motivated them was money. 
So, yeah, because if the church, you think they were competing with the church? Well, they were one hundred. I don't think that they were competing. They were competing with a church. But they admitted themselves they were atheists. Some of these people. Yeah, they admitted they were they were atheists because they had to get away get away from that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you have a if you have a church that's church and state, no. who do you think the money's gonna go to? Is it gonna go to the church or is it gonna go to the to the businessman? Oh, so it has to be a a, a separation for them in their heads. To provide you because they're not doing this for people that are different than them. They're explicitly doing this for people that are like them. Because one thing that everybody had in common was that they owned land. They did. And they were capitalists. They were. Okay. But don't so, forget, when the Articles of Confederation was written, taxes were voluntary. Okay. but And they had to... Money people taxes. People, money taxes were voluntary. People didn't even want to pay taxes. But... No, people didn't want to pay taxes, but they but they knew that if they didn't have money, it was going to be a, a piece, It was going to be a piece of their land. It was going to yeah. be a crop. It was going to be something. Something was going to be leveled yeah. if, if it wasn't cash. But at the end of the day, it's like they, the Constitution, everything is written in a very pro-us and people like us situation. All this whole, it's the fact that they were Christians and they held people as property and then wrote the document that they wrote. Kind of like, it's like the they're antithetical to each other. Yeah. But the reason that they write it like this is because they need to control what's happening. And they already have the experience of this government, which is controlled by the church. How do they, how, how, how does that work out? It doesn't work out very well. No. Especially for people that think different than them. No. Right? So their whole idea is, well, yeah, we have slaves and we're going to kill these Indians to take more land. So we're not writing the Constitution for that. We're definitely not writing it for our wives, who I get to fucking cheat on and whip like an animal if she doesn't serve my food. Well, right? that was back then. Come on. Okay. No, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, that's their mentality. Like, why would they write uh, anything? Why would they codify millennials, anything? Millennials, you know, you don't know what you did 20 years ago. No, but, no, but yeah, it's like, why would, they, why would they put a document, why would they ratify any document that isn't going to explicitly favor them? Yeah, like, like, you'd be like, what? I don't believe in religion. It's not I can rape. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. No, and then they go home and they're religious. Yeah. Okay, they're religious. At home, they're religious, and the whole reason that they can have slavery, slavery is because of religion. Yeah. There wasn't a lack of religion in these people's lives. Just in their business, there was yeah. no religion. They, had to, they were very clear. If we want to be millionaires and we want to control the world and this country we can't have religion you think from the conception of this country was set out to control the world yes well it was definitely to control the land mass because we really didn't helicopter, the helicopter helicopter